Hi there, this is Kristen DeBenko, and I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of design management and wiki, which are both under the create stage and we're the knowledge group. Um, today, I'll walk you through design management, how to use the design tab, how to upload an image, how to comment on it and look at the history. Design management is new um, within the last five releases. So um, it's good to kind of refresh everyone that it's there and show you how this can work for a designer workflow. Um, and then secondly, <clears throat> secondly, we'll go through the wiki. Um, I'll show you how to set up and enable your wiki, how to create and edit pages, and how to do some basic editing in the wiki. So I'm going to flip over to my test project on GitLab. You can see I've called it Demo Corporate Website, GitLab Demo cor Corporate Website. In this project, um, we're going to be redesigning the GitLab homepage. So I've, there's two issues here in the repo. And with my design hat on right now, let's say I'm the designer, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to look for this header image um, issue that I'm going to provide designs for. <coughs> so I can read here. Um, my manager gave me the issue. They will, she wants um, the latest Forrester Wave article on the head, header of the website in a cool way. And I'd like to see it with GitLab purple and black just to see how that plays. So I got to give two options, a purple one and a black one. Now, before I upload my designs, um, I'll just show you. So normally um, the discussion tab is on the left and you'll see designs on the right. Um, the first time you come here, you'll see this is the one place for all your designs. You can click a button and add your designs here. So I'm going to go over to sketch and I'm going to grab the two comps I was working on earlier. So I've got my header purple and my header black. I'm going to export these locally into this issue to designs folder, hit export. And then back over to GitLab, I'm going to upload the two of them. <clears throat> So you can see there they are, they're side by side. Um, on the design tab, um, there's an indicator right here. When a um, design is new, it shows as green. If it's been modified, which you'll see later, this little thing goes to blue, so you know that a new version was uploaded for that design. Um, and we can always add new designs by clicking the Add Design button right here. Again, that gets me back to the uploader. And we can also select and delete designs if we want to. Delete sounds scary. It's actually just archiving them and your designs will be visible in this version menu afterwards. Um, but keeping my designer hat on, I just uploaded these two designs to the issue. And now I'm gonna go in and at mention um, my boss. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna at mention myself, but we'll pretend that I'm talking to my boss. And she wanted to see this, um, this black option. So I'm clicking down here. You can see I created a comment pin because I'm talking about the black color. And then over here, I'm going to write a comment to her. <clears throat> Here's the. Okay. Hit comment. Now, um, I have my to do's up here in another tab. I'm just going to refresh. So you can see here that by addressing that comment, I can see here that um, do I like the black option or the purple. So I, I'm able to just click that even from the to do and come back into the flow here. Um, so that's how I would pick this up if I had just received this. Um, so let's reply back um, with my boss hat on, with my manager hat, I'm just gonna say, actually, <laughs> I'm gonna look and compare before I make that decision. So just using these back and forth arrows, I can easily go back and forth and see, do I really like the black one or the purple one better? I'm also gonna close it, and that takes me back to the design tab where I can see them both together. 
maybe I'm thinking about it and I'm going to say, you know, go ahead and delete this one. Let's stay with purple. So that's my comment back. And then I also noticed when I was just looking at the design here that this looks a little bit odd. So I'm noticing there's like two CTAs going on, which seems a little weird. So I'm gonna drop a pin here on the purple one as well and right back to the designer. This looks like two CTAs. Can you fix and comment? So now um, putting my designer hat back on again, um, I'm coming back to these issues and I'm now seeing the new comment that came through here. Um, I can also, if I go to discussion, um, you can see here that on the, there was a new discussion just started on the purple header. So I can also get to it from there. Um, because she uh, mentioned me again, I'll be able to also see it in my to do. So there's lots of ways to know to come back to comment. Um, so I have read this. I see um, that she didn't really like the two CTAs. She also said I could get rid of this black option. So I'm actually just going to delete the black option right now because that one's a no. So that's gone. We're down to just the purple. And even though it looks gone, it's not like if I go back to version three, you can still get those. So um, your single source of truth is what's left and shown here in the design tab, but you still got access to the ones that you decide to delete slash archive. Um, so I'm going to address the problem with the CTA. So I'm just going to go over here. I did, I had worked on a different option earlier in the day, so I'm going to flip that on. It's a little more subtle and it doesn't have that orange. I'm going to export it. <clears throat> so I'm up exporting purple, replacing, and then I'm going to upload it again right here. So I'm going to use the exact same file name, header purple, and upload. And we see it spin and it replaces, it can now see this is the more subtle one that I just worked on. <coughs> and you'll see the indicator here went to modified, which means um, since the last time I was here, this uh, design has been modified. So opening it up, I can now see um, my new design is here. Um, I can reply back to my boss. Comment. And obviously this can go back and forth until we arrive at a decision. Um, I might also drop another pin and say, hey, this sounds weird. <laughs> Not a great comment, but just showing that you can create pins throughout and have these conversations that are ongoing as you get to the finished product. Um, and so going back, I just wanted to show here um, that we do have the version. So if I go back to version four, there, there's the, the bad CTA one, and then I come up to the latest where it's been fixed. So <coughs> we can work on this back and forth, um, and then eventually hand off to engineering or whoever's going to go build it on the website using the issue. So that concludes um, the design management walkthrough part. Now I'm gonna jump over to Wiki, which is a little bit different, but they're here in the same project. Okay, so for Wiki, um, you can see here, um, I don't currently have a page set up. If you don't see Wiki showing up on the left-hand menu also, you may need to go into your settings under general and visibility project features and permissions scroll down near the bottom you'll have to toggle on the wiki um, as well as set access levels right there so assuming you've got the wiki on the first time you go again there's a prompt here to create your first page so um, if i click that it's going to default to a home page um, every wiki this has a home slug. So if you leave that for your main um, home page, um, that's a good thing to do. You can make it whatever you want, but we suggest you have at least one that is home. 
<laughs> in my case, I did take some markdown meeting notes that I wanted to copy in here. Um, this is a, because we're working on the website. Um, there's certain members of our team that are working on it. So by by pasting in uh, my team list and some notes from a meeting we were in this week, I can start off the wiki for this project. Um, wikis are great to have in projects. You can use them for meeting notes, um, for research, all different things at the project level, um, and even documentation if you want to. Um, so I'm going to hit create page, and we should have the home page here. <coughs> now, currently, this is the only page that I have in my site. If I and you can see it over here on the right, it says home. If I wanted to add a new page, I can do it by adding this new page button. Um, so I'm going to say test page, test, just to show how that shows up over on the right. So you can see now I've got my test page as well as my home page. The other way I can add new pages is right from Markdown. Now you can also use RDoc, ASCIIDoc, or org to format. I'm going to do the walkthrough using Markdown, but feel free to use whichever type of editing you prefer. So let's say here um, under these notes, um, I'm going to put it up here in the bullets. Let's say I also know that we are going to do two interviews, interview one. So that's the name of the page I want to create. Um, and I'm going to put that in a directory called docs interview one. So even though this page doesn't exist yet, I'm giving it a slug and that's going to generate those for me. Looking here, you could see in my notes, um, I've got links to interview one and two. And so by just clicking save here on the home page, it will now give me the structure to add these two interviews. So assuming that these are going to be like user interviews or employee interviews, I could open this up. You could see it, it preserves that I had already put in doc slash interview one. And then I can use markdown to my heart's content. Um, Ta-da, and I'll hit stick, uh, create page. There's my notes from this interview, and you can see over on the right that it preserved um, the slug that I had created. So now I have a directory there that says docs with interview one. <coughs> if I go back to the home page, you'll see that interview two wasn't created yet, even though that still exists. So whoever comes in to work on interview two, because we haven't actually created that page yet, it won't be there, but the structure will be. So it makes it really easy to add things quickly. Um, another thing to mention is that you can create new pages and edit these pages via Git because every wiki is actually a Git repo behind the scenes. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can also see page history, which is really handy, which you can see all of the updates that have happened and um, that can help when you're trying to track down a change or something that might have been missed. Um, but overall, Wiki is a great way to store things at the project level. So, um, and just to note, we do have coming soon, and I know that this isn't um, usually a part of the walkthrough, but we will be making Wikis available at the group level and eventually at the system or global level as well. So you'll have even more flex flexibility with Wikis. So that wraps it up for the knowledge group uh, walkthrough. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.